So the Nashville, Tennessee tragedy of shootings, or shooting, I'd rather. <sighs> I mean, it's like, when is it going to end? You know what? This has became so freaking normal now that we don't even bat an eye at it anymore. I mean, it's like, and I'm thinking the same thing. Watch, in two or three months, nobody will talk about this because there'll be another one, and another one, and another one. The bottom line is, the only way you're going to fix this, it's not about guns. It's not about people who are transgender. It's not about being gay or lesbian or whatever you want to say. I don't care if your thing is to do goats. I don't care. It's mentally sick people in this country. Do you not understand that? Why is somebody that has a history of all these mental illnesses, how are they getting access to these firearms? I mean, don't isn't there any screening? There needs to be a mental screening before people can get firearms. That's just the way it is. If you have any history of suicide attempts, no offense, I've had my rough days too, but if you have any history of violence or anything like that, you shouldn't be allowed to own an assault rifle. I mean, just it's just as simple as that. I mean, me personally, I could see a shotgun. I mean, give me a shotgun. Give me a pistol. Don't give me an AR-15. Why would you even need a gun like that to begin with? That should tell you right there. So, again, this is all going to get political. And, and listen, my channel, I try not to get political at all because I'm an independent. I could care less either way. I find things wrong with both sides. But, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And, it, listen, I don't have kids. And I keep thinking to myself, every time I'm thinking about having a kid, well, first of all, you need a wife for that to happen. But anyway, it's like, why would I want to bring a kid in this effed up world right now? Why would I want to do that? I mean, you can't even send your kids to school anymore without taking the shit. I mean, personally, if I had a kid, I wouldn't put them in a public school. No freaking way. I'd homeschool. No way. But this is America 2023. <laughs> and this day and age, and it it's nothing against transgenders. I mean, me personally, when I was growing up as a kid, if you, you were a freak, pretty much. I mean, you know, and I'm not saying transgender people are a freak. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying that's the era I grew up in. I mean, hell, if, if you even said you were gay, there was a problem. You were outcast. But... I have nothing against somebody who's gay. I have nothing against somebody who's a lesbian. And I have nothing against somebody who's transgender. If that's your thing, fine, whatever. Not my deal. I don't like it, but whatever. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean the next guy don't. But whatever. So this person, we'll just call it that, got shot and killed. As, as far as I'm concerned, good. One less idiot I got to worry about. And I know people are going to say, oh my God, that's heartless. No, it's not. I mean, if this person can kill innocent little kids and adults, why should I feel sorry for him? Good, I'm glad the cops shot him dead. This is ridiculous, though. It's the only way you're going to get it fixed. you got to have mental screenings, and for that matter, put security guards in the school. I keep saying that. I said that last time this happened. Pat, Start patting people down. I mean, if you guys can give all this money to Ukraine and you can give this money to China and you can throw away money like it's nothing, why can't you put it into our school system? <laughs> oh, but because we don't want to make a big deal about it. You know, we don't want to get too political. But yet you'll shove a transgender politics down our freaking throat to the point we're choking on it. I mean, even going as far as to put it in a Far Cry game, Ubisoft, that's why I lost our respect for Ubisoft. I mean, it's bad enough I turn the TV on and gotta see this shit. <laughs> Last thing I want is in a freaking video game, but whatever. That's just my opinion. But they'll do that, but we can't say nothing about them. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. That's bullshit. So yeah. It's a tragedy would happen in Nashville, but I hate to say this, it's going to happen again and again and again and again because nobody will do anything about it. Basically, 
Yeah, got a text, sorry. Basically, yeah, I just wanted to say I'm sorry to the families that lost their kids and the relatives. It's just terrible, man. But we'll check with you guys soon.